Your Excellency, the President and Honorable Members of the IPU, Distinguished Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen, the COVID-19 outbreak has changed the order and tranquility of people's lives in the world. The cessation of trade, strict quarantines and the imposition of serious health measures caused great social, economic, psychological and cultural damage and many people die every day from this disease. Increasing the level of health cooperation, transfer of knowledge and scientific experience to fight the COVID-19 as a human responsibility can be effective in preventing further human casualties and makes us successful in controlling this virus. The post-corona world will be unsound world facing many crises. New plans must be developed to compensate for social, economic and psychological trauma. The outbreak of the disease has shown that human society, with all the advances in treatment and prevention, still needs to be more prepared and then governments should pay close attention to allocating sufficient funds to compensate the post-corona loss. Centering parliamentary relations, trade facilities and cultural exchanges can revitalize the blight of the post-corona society and provide a new opportunity to start a new life. Afghanistan is at the peak of the epidemic and thousands of people have been affected. Post-corona Afghanistan needs a lot of humanitarian and financial assistance and without the cooperation of the international community and IPU member parliaments, compensation of post-corona damages will not be possible. I call on all IPU member parliaments to pay serious attention for supporting the Afghan people. Thank you.